La Tuyo is, to me, is mountain biking. I'm really looking forward to be on the top, turn my head, and looking right at the Mont Blanc. A bit of pedaling, super steep, like World Cup tracks. This full on. Pretty much smack dab on the border between France and Italy, you'll find some of the steepest, rockiest mountains in Europe. Climb the 27 switchbacks on the road to the village of La Tuile, and you may pass a peloton or two of lycra-clad road cyclists. But where that road ends is a place that puts the mountain in mountain biking. La Tuile in 2014 was one of my faves, man. It was just a good balance of lift and climbing. I heard stages are gonna be quite downhilly on some of them. We're gonna get the opportunity to ride our bike a lot these uh, next few days. With the combination of speed and control the current crop of racers competes with, it'd be easy to forget that the mountain bike has been around for a hundred years less than its road cycling big brother. I showed you my old bike, my 41 Schwinn, so that seemed to be the best handling bike of all the bikes. Uh, so I won repack on it once and have the third fastest time down repack. Joe won it like six times in the bike, and uh, he has the second fastest time, and the fastest time down repack is Gary Fisher at 422. When it comes to racing, road cycling and mountain biking share more than just two wheels and some questionable fashion choices. But ever since its minimalist beginnings some 40 years ago, mountain biking has been about the climb up and, much more interestingly, the race down. Repack was a descent that's near Fairfax, California that we used to do a downhill race where instead of us just saying, OK, who's the fastest, who's the fastest, we could actually prove who the fastest was. Just with modern equipment, you'd think they'd shatter our time by 30 seconds or 40 seconds. But still, it's the, it's the oddest thing that our times have not been beaten down that descent. The repack times may remain unbested, but back here in Italy, some of the biggest names in the sport are riding bikes faster than ever before. If you can put together the necessary package of fitness, drive, technique, and fearlessness, racing bikes can become the hardest way to make an easy living. The goal of being pro mountain biker, that's a very interesting question, because people are pro mountain bikers for all different types of reasons. Well, for me, my goal is to be the best mountain bike rider in the world. I just, I just want to win. Becoming one again and getting my confidence back. Representing brands in a positive light so more people ride bikes. There's no one reason for racing and no one way to win. Racing at its purest may be all about being the fastest from point A to point B, but that doesn't mean that style goes unappreciated. So for yourself, what type of music best describes your riding style? I'm not a thrasher. <laughs> Some, I don't know, Taylor Swift. <laughs> he's, he's a big, soft teddy bear, really. Classic rock. <laughs> Oh, 
Richie. Oh, Death metal? Jeez, man. <laughs> Jared. Man. Jared's confused. Yeah, doctor, doctor. It's an emergency. She need a surgery. Calling that a dick to me. Plus, don't look your shit. Just get to me. Frames don't think to me. Love your history. Ain't no mystery. What you hit with me? Dodge your enemies. Just like Johan Borelli. Be like party music. Yeah, top 40. <laughs> Just everyone loves it. Sweet, sweet habit. And the Frenchies. Just boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Music choices may be personal, but when it comes to racing, to finish first, you first have to finish. Stayed on my bike. I had a mechanical on stage one, but got a 15th and a fifth, so put me in 10th for the day, so all smiles here, man. <laughs> Just keep chugging along. An understated assessment on what by all accounts is an above average day. With two days of racing on tap here in Latwil, Curtis is carrying the potential for his best finish in nearly two years. Every track was, you get to the top, and you're like, yeah, this track's sick. One racer who has found her rhythm and flow this season is Frances Cecile Ravenel. The steep technical tracks here were exactly her jam. So if Richie Rude likes death metal, then the entire field here in Italy was laid waste by an onslaught of sound and speed. Rude rode with a fury never before seen in EWS competition, catching the second fastest man in the world, Damian Oten, on the last stage before he dropped the mic. Yeah, I remember seeing him in the stage a couple of minutes before that climb. I like matched his pace and then once he set up, I just had to stand up and just go for it. When you have someone to catch, you kind of go way faster than what if you're alone. I made some bike changes. Sometimes it's little things that kind of put you in the right mindset. Leading up to Italy, Jared and I were riding our brains out. Sometimes you just need laps, man. After 698 days of unrealized potential, grinding through illness and injury, puzzling over how to put the pieces back together, there are few better feelings for a racer than being back in the mix.